saying something. He took some shots the entire time. He never did get going in this fight, and that's directly related to the excellent, excellent fight plan of Antonio Spiridosa. Thank you. 
and he is thinking he has very respect for him. He didn't get a shot at McQuiggan. Would he like to fight Barry McQuiggan in the future? Dice que no tiene todavía una oferta de McQuiggan, pero si te gustaría pelear con él por el título. He said that he he like to fight Maguiman, but he he thinks that he will like to fight Azuma Nelson at the WBC. Sounds like a great fight. Thanks so much. Azuma Nelson could be on next on line for Antonio Spear goes to the new WBA featherweight champion. Takes out Stevie Cruz in the 12th round. A tremendous shot by Espargoza, one, one of the great fights of the year so far. Let's take it back to John and Randy. All right, Espargoza, 25-1-3 at 228, the knockout in the 12th round. We'll be back with more in just a minute. Juan just came out from Mexico. Does your friend speak any English? <laughs> The aftermath of the loss of Stevie Cruz, and we take you back ringside now. Hugh Malay standing by with a former champion. Let's get the comments from Stevie Cruz. We're here with former WBA featherweight champ Stevie Cruz, getting words of condolences from various well wishers right now. First of all, Stevie, you gave it a great shot. Espera goes a fought as good as fight as I've seen this year. Your comments on the fight, obviously, you really took a beating. Oh well, yes, I did. Uh, I took a lot of shots that I shouldn't have, and. Uh, my head movement wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be. And uh, just that one shot toward the last caught, that caught me and just, when you get hit with those, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. And I just